Hello and welcome to the Unraid July Digest. I'm your host, Stefano Partita, and I have some good news for you. Unraid OS turns 20 years old, and with this huge milestone comes a sale, a giveaway, a brand new merch store, as well as a very special live event that you'll definitely want to be a part of. The new merch store is live where you can find some sweet apparel, bags, drinkware, and so much more. And a part of the 20 year Unraid celebration, all items are 20% off for the entire month of August. Also, if you don't see anything that you particularly like on there, don't forget to reach out to Unraid and let them know what you would like to see or maybe even some graphic designs that you would like to see as well. Starting August 7th through August 26th, you can get 20% off on Starter and Unleash licenses. You can also get 20% off on all upgrades to Unleashed. As I mentioned before, there will be a giveaway as a part of this celebration where you can win a Starter, Unleashed, or even Lifetime license you can get a link station and one. There will be one hour of paid support that will be free as a part of this giveaway. And of course, there will also be some free merchandise that you can also win. I previously mentioned the giveaway and there are three ways to participate in this giveaway. One is by RSVPing into the live event on Saturday, August 30th, as well as purchase anything during the 20 day sale or even entering the show us your server competition where there will be five different categories. The first of the five categories is the terabyte Titan. The second is the tiny Titan. Three is the milliwatt miser. The fourth category is for systems that fulfill the legacy legends. And the fifth and final category will be for completely unhinged builds and setups. The submission deadline is Sunday, August 17th of 2025. And you may of course enter multiple servers, but only one per form submission. You must choose one category per server. Winners will be contacted via email and revealed during the live stream on August 30th. If you are interested in entering the competition, be sure to check out the links below to make sure that you know all of the details on the best way to enter in the show off your server competition. Unraid 7.2.0 Beta 1 is here where you can get early access to the fully responsive web UI, applications that take advantage of the open source API, ZFS RAID Z expansion, expanded file system support, single sign-on logins for the web UI. The beta one brings so many new features to Unraid OS. And while there are many to talk about, perhaps the most interesting is the API. So with that, we get access to a new application, the Unraid mobile app. This is an open source mobile app for Unraid built with Flutter and it's powered by the Unraid API. You can get access to basic Docker controls, virtual machines, and view your system information. You can view your shares and array status, added UPS monitoring, and there's gonna be ongoing work to improve Docker integration. The Unraid app is already available for download for iOS and Android. Another Unraid integration is Home Assistant that will allow you to monitor and control your Unraid server directly from Home Assistant. This integration will allow you to track your system metrics like CPU, RAM, and disk usage, manage your VMs, Docker containers, monitor the UPS status, and receive real-time alerts. Another fancy integration will be the Unraid ESP Monitor by JNX26, which is a compact always-on dashboard powered by ESP32 and this will be designed to provide real-time monitoring of your Unraid server. Some of the key features you can expect from this are displays of key system metrics like CPU load, memory disk usage, disk space, Docker container status, VM activity. There's a JSON API generated by a user script on your Unraid server. There's Wi-Fi enabled that fetches live data, displays it on a clean, easy to read UI over the air firmware updates, USB powered, it's compact and designed for continuous operation. And of course it's fully open source and customizable to suit your environment. That Unraid monitor alone to me seems like a pretty sweet tool to have. And I can imagine that sitting right in my server rack in my own home lab environment. Lastly, be sure to check out some of the Unraid community content, especially from Max Voltage, who upgraded his Unraid hardware on a server. Also, don't forget to head over to the forums to check out some of the featured forum threads. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and good night.